<laughs> okay, so when it comes to turkey legs, most of the time they're baked, smoked, or deep fried. Our next guest has taken turkey legs to a whole new level. In fact, that leg is now an entire meal. Chef Nakia Price is the owner of the Turkey Leg Hut, home of the world famous stuffed turkey leg. And also joining us today is Vic Davison, the bartender. Yes. Hello there. Hi. Okay, um, I know we talked a lot about, you know, being healthy in the whole bit, but it, it is turkey. That's that's it good. is turkey. Yeah. It is. And yes, it's lean. not about deprivation. It's this about every now and then going all in. <laughs> this is very true. Right. How did you go all in with turkey legs? You know what? My husband and I, we kind of bounced ideas off of each other. We started during the rodeo season in the field, and we were cooking turkey legs and uh, sausage and boudin on a uh, sausage on a stick and chicken boudin. Yeah, which would be like and barbecue or smoked meats, right? Exactly. And so, you know, it, it wasn't something that we sought out to do. It was just something that happened. Yeah. Well, how did it go from like a, like a festival turkey leg? You know, you're walking around with a turkey leg uh -huh. to all of a sudden you need to sit down, get a plate, a fork, and a knife. Because these turkey legs are not just the fair turkey legs. They're mm -hmm. actually they're smoked to perfection, and they're they're very tender. So if you walk around like a fair turkey leg, holding it like a fair turkey it's leg, gonna apart, it's going right? to fall apart. It's going to fall apart. Oh, exactly. look at that. Wow. That yeah. just, like, literally, I am not digging in that. That just came off just like that. <laughs> okay, so that in itself is just delicious. But there was an idea in your head where you went, you know what? That turkey leg is a blank canvas, mm -hmm. and we're going to paint all over that canvas with some great ideas. And so the first one was what? The first one was a stuffed turkey leg. Mm. So okay. that's the one that we're going to show you right now. Okay. And it's stuffed with dirty rice. Okay. So this is a regular original turkey leg. And we just take it. And you just and we stuff it in there. We stuff it in there. Now, I can't show y'all everything of how we stuff it in there. Yeah, but because, you yeah. can get the gist of it. So, yeah. Okay. So then you thought, thought well, we can do a little bit more than that, too, can't yes, we? Yes. Okay. We, yes. And so at, thereafter, we, um, we this is our number one seller. This is a shrimp Alfredo turkey leg. And it's stuffed with dirty rice, has shrimp and Alfredo sauce on top. This is like a family meal right it there. It is. That's what that <laughs> there are, we, it's, we specialize in shareables. Everything that, that we offer at the turkey leg cut is shareable. Yeah, you're a great entrepreneurial story. Um, you did not go to culinary school. Not at all. This is just the throw down, experiment, have fun recipes that you grew up with. Somehow. Yes. Uh huh. This, my husband and I, we really just bounce ideas off of each other. It's kind of like a competition. We like to one up one another. Mm -hmm. So he came up with this one, and I decided to try to one up him with this one. And and during downtime, we just you know we brainstormed and we came up with different variations of the turkey leg. Yeah, like this right here, for example. I love that you have all the food groups basically in here. That's our newest right? one. Yes. Oh, wow. And That's this one the is Florentine what? turkey leg. So that mm -hmm. one is stuffed with. Um, Shrimp, it has Alfredo sauce, it has uh, red onions, uh, mushrooms, and Parmesan. Yeah. yeah. All right. You're located in a part of town that has been revitalized, and it's so fun to go down there right off of Almeda. Correct. The historic Third Ward. And that's where the Turkey Leg Hut is. That's where we are. Okay. Now, what completes any good meal is a good drink. Uh, Vic, over there, you have, uh, it's got, it, what's happened with food, I think, has also happened in uh, kind of the, the wine and, and, and spirits industry. Mm -hmm. And that is that you get very experimental. It's not necessarily a recipe that you have to follow all the time. It's Correct. being created and having fun. Correct. Um, what I'll be making for you guys today is called the side piece. The side piece. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> to, to the turkey leg. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the name same. might speak for itself. Yes. Um, okay. With that, we want to add an um, ounce and a half of uh, cognac. We're not going to okay. tell you the specific name of the cognac. Since I'm making two drinks, I'll do a little double for you guys today. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> then we want to add a um, hint of triple set. Okay. And at Turkey Leg Hut, um, we make everything in house. Um, everything is fresh, including our uh, mixes, sweet and sour. So we make our own house sweet and sour. And that makes a big difference in how yes, these it taste. Just Very like eating your sour. food right here makes such a big difference in how it tastes. All right. And uh, we garnish the uh, stemless wine, I mean, stemless martini glass with sugar. Um, Thank top you it off for doing a stemless no martini problem. glass. Because can I just tell you, I'm one of those people. Like, I, I'll drink half the martini because the other half of the martini is all over the bar. <laughs> 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 I, I would hit it or it ends up down my shirt. Right? <laughs> That's a ah. different type of duking problem. <laughs> okay, but again, right. uh, you can do all kinds of customized drinks. And so let me see this side piece right over here. And just a sidebar, um, we're actually getting ready to open up the Daiquiri Hut. 
Oh, the daiquiri hut. The daiquiri hut, yes, will be located right next to Turkey Lake Hut. Okay, yes. and that, especially with warmer weather coming pretty soon, yes. right? Yes. That's just kind of a, a nice, refreshing drink to have. Mm -hmm. And again, I, it won't be your average daiquiris, will it? No. You'll get creative no. with that too. Oh, no, very much so. premium okay. liquor, um, uh, top of the line daiquiris. Okay, yeah. here is Stay the, tuned. There you go. And and what'd you call this again? Side piece. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, after this, no one needs a man. I, no one needs a man again. <laughs> mm, thank you, thank you. <laughs> that is delicious. Thank you. Um, I want to end with you giving advice to those people because everyone, I think, has an idea in them. A lot of folks would love to be an entrepreneur and step out, but they're afraid to. What's your best advice to them? Just keep going. Never stop. You have to believe in yourself. Yeah. You have to. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. And you can kind of start slowly. You started out at the rodeo grounds, yes. right, before you had a storefront. Yes. And so you just kind of build on that. And keep building. All right. It's just like you kept building on those turkey legs. Okay. Yeah. The Turkey Land <laughs> Hut is located off of 4830 Almeda Road. You can catch Happy Hour daily from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. and enjoy Crab Boiled Wednesdays starting at 5 p.m. For more information on the Turkey Leg Hut, Cajun and Creole Bar and Grill, visit GreatDayHouston.com.